What's going on here? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ozzy Van Man. <laughs> Where are we today? We are at the Blue Heron French Creamery and Cheese Factory and I'm gonna go take a look. something I've noticed that I've seen before on the internet. I like, uh, I like those well, this stuff. I've seen this stuff. Uh, that guy on Good Meals <laughs> uses a lot of this stuff. Um, it's like, I guess, truffle infused uh, hot sauce. So, uh, yeah, I might have to buy some of this and try it out, I think. See what it's all about. Look at this uh, bourbon bacon jam. That sounds delicious. Uh, I can already tell just by looking around, they have uh, all sorts of stuff, cheeses, spices, fish, uh, meats. I can already tell I'm going to walk away pretty broke from this place. <laughs> okay, so as well as a whole bunch of gifts and uh, candies and honey, all sorts of stuff. They also have a wine bar over here. Let's go check that out. I decided to do a wine testing and uh, I'm going to try a few different wines, see what I like the best so I can decide what I want to buy. Let's go and have a look. So going from left to right, mm -hmm. five of the, this is five for 15 but I'm giving you a six. Mm. Ooh, that's so nice, thank you. So starting left to right, Chardonnay, uh -huh. Pinot Gris, uh -huh. Pinot Noir, uh -huh. Sauvignon Blanc, uh -huh. the Riesling, and the Gewurz demeanor. Oh, yeah. Very excited for the Gewurz. A little shaked up with you and taste. Okay, guys, so we went for the wines, uh, we went for the Blue Heron wine taste test. And uh, I'm very interested in the Pinot uh, because that's my favorite wine. So we may be buying, buying a bottle of that today. We'll see. There we go. And so let's have a look at the wines. So here we have the Chardonnay, next we have the Pinot Gris, the Pinot Noir, 
And then after that we have the sub block, the uh, Riesling, and then the, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but this German one right here. Gerbert. Final one. Ger I still can't pronounce it. All right, let's just get her down, I guess. We got the Chardonnay. I'm not really a big Chardonnay guy, to be honest. So let's give it a shot. It's actually pretty, pretty clean, pretty clean. Yeah. Okay. I know you're supposed to cleanse your palate afterwards, we're not going to bother with that today. Let's go Pinot Grigio. Mm. Very sweet, very nice. Next we're going to jump over to the Sav Blanc. Mm. Got quite a bite to that one. Um, so we're gonna go to the Riesling. I think it's a sweet one, right? Let's give it a crack. You got your plates already. Is this you? Yeah, it's definitely a more sweeter one. I'm gonna try the German one, whatever that is. Sounds all right. It's a very, very, very light wine. It'll be good for summer, I guess. And this is my favorite one, the Pinot Noir. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I might have to get a bottle of that. All right, so that's the taste test done. Let's go on and see what kind of cheeses I want to get. All right, guys, we're back outside. It's a little bit windy here. All right, so we did end up getting some of that truffle hot sauce. So that'll be cool to try. And what else did we get? We got some tangerine marmalade. Pretty excited about that. They had a little taste test in there for that one, so. That ended up being very, very delicious. I just could not say no to that. So I got some of their blue cheese, uh, brie cheese from Blue Heron. And I got a couple of treats here. We got a little chocolate to try and a macaron. Let's go ahead and try those now. Oh, wow. Creme brulee macaron. Very delicious. So that was the uh, cheese company. I guess I don't do tours here. But that's all right. Uh, maybe we'll do another tour at a different cheese factory somewhere. Got some yum, yummy goodies. We had a good wine tasting. We were gonna eat there, but at the cafe, we kind of ran out of time at the end. 
all right guys so that is another good video wrap today and we got many many more exciting things so I'm, I'm not even halfway through my vacation yet so much more much more all right guys so please like and subscribe you know what to do guys comment below uh tell me what kind of cheeses are your favorite cheeses have you been to any uh cheese tours or cheese factories before and if so whereabouts uh, until next time guys this is aussie van man we'll see you later that's right later what's going on here